Hello, Reward Clinicians. This is Ali Nassib with another case-based learning tutorial, case-based learning number 13, which is a case of an indirect pulp cap with emphasis on diagnosis. So let's get into it. This patient was referred to me for endodontic therapy in tooth number 12. The referral was based on the patient's chief complaint of thermal sensitivity and discomfort to cold, along with a radiograph that showed a large distal carious lesion approaching the pulp. But as we know, a proper diagnosis always requires a minimum of two corroborating clinical tests that confirms an established pulpal and periapical diagnosis. Therefore, we should never make an endodontic diagnosis based on the clinical radiograph alone, even though it may appear like a very clear-cut case uh, on the x-ray. You should always add a pulpal vitality test to confirm the source of the radiographic findings. This is an important tenet of all endodontic diagnosis, and I will have tutorials in the future in this area uh, to clarify it. So here, the radiograph shows a large carious lesion, but our clinical testing shows that the tooth is negative to percussion, palpation, and is merely positive to cold with a response that lingers less than 10 seconds. Now, the lack of a lingering pain response means that the adeltal nerve fibers in the pulp are still intact, and therefore, a diagnosis of reversible pulpitis is made in this case. Now, a reversible pulpitis does not always mean that endodontic treatment is not necessary. Um, basically, you have to remember that uh, treatment planning is really as much about uh, considering the prognostic factors and doing a risk analysis uh, as it is about diagnosis of a particular tooth itself. Sometimes, the risk of necrosis outweighs the risk of preserving the pulp, especially when a major restorative work is planned and the tooth has some strategic value. And in those cases, pre pros endo, also called prophylactic endodontic therapy, may really be the best treatment option. However, all clinical uh, decision-making is really a function of comparative risk analysis, and to that extent, it means that you have to always consider the risk of no treatment with the risk of treatment itself, because all treatment has also some risk inherent to it. And as you can see, uh, if we always do this little comparative analysis, we would end up being less cavalier and more calculating in our treatment uh, planning and uh, decisions that we offer to our patients. Anyway, uh, in this particular case, given the abnormal root anatomy of this tooth with the additional roots and the complex anatomy, uh, you should make a note, I'm sure you saw that on the x-ray, that this was a maxillary first premolar, but radiographically it appears that it has three roots. And this means that the endo may not really be as routine as we wish and that that might itself, the root canal itself, the procedure itself, could have some complicating factors that should be considered in uh, making a decision for a treatment plan. And therefore, in this particular case, a uh, pulp cap, given the reversible pulpitis diagnosis, might be the best option. Now, in my humble opinion, whenever a question like this comes up, the treatment option that is usually the least costly or complicated to the patient should really be presented as the recommended option. Because let's consider the fact here that we can always do more treatment, but we can't undo optional treatment done in the past. So, uh, in this case, since there's really no plans for a bridge or a crown, I found it strategically prudent to do a pulp cap first and then evaluate the pulpal response in the future and then, you know, act accordingly. So, you can see that if uh, a patient is informed adequately, they can really appreciate that they're really, you know, you're really trying to help them with the most optimal and least costly outcome. So, after discussing the options in this case, the patient elected to do caries control first, and then uh, if we somehow manage to uh, avoid a pulpal exposure, then proceed to uh, doing an indirect pulp cap uh, based on the uh, clinical findings at the time of caries uh, control. Now, if everything works out, the patient